I'm going to show you how I designed a Mickey Mouse snowman. I'm going to start by going to images and we're going to need a Mickey Mouse image and I like the face on this Mickey Mouse so we're going to use him. And I'm also going to need a shape that's the icon or his, his head basically so I'm going to click on that one. I'm also going to need a snowman let's find a snowman. I like this one but I do want to add buttons so I'm going to also select the snowman so I can use his buttons. So I have lots of pieces in here but this is going to show you how you can take all kinds of different pieces and basically combine them together to make your own image. I'm going to just get all of that over here for now and I might make this really big so that you can see it better. Okay, so first I'm going to click on this Mickey Mouse image. I don't need that red half of a Mickey, so I'm going to delete it. And if you look here, there's eyeball icons that um, show the white pieces behind it. I don't need those either, so I'm going to delete them. All I want is that black Mickey. Okay, so now if I click on the snowman, same thing. There's some pieces that are turned off. I can tell they're turned off because the eyeball is off. I'm just going to delete them so that I don't end up with extra pieces. Now for the snowman, I don't want him to be wearing a hat because I want to be able to see Mickey Mouse's ears up there on top. But if I look at the preview over here, I can see that the hat, the stick arms, and the scarf are all kind of connected in one grouping. I can click on that here in this layers panel and go contour and then click on the hat and the band and now I turned them off so he's just wearing a scarf and now if I want to make the scarf a different color I can click duplicate so now I have two of this exact same cutout and I'm going to change the color of this one to red for the scarf and I'm going to get rid of the stick arms in this one so now it's just the scarf now I can go back here, click on just the stick arms for this, and get rid of the scarf. And now it will just cut the stick arms out of brown and the scarf out of red. Perfect. I also don't want the little swirls in this snowman. So if I, if I just click on the snowman here, because it's all grouped with the other pieces, you can see that I actually select both the blue parts and the, the brown sticks. I just want to select the blue right here. So I'm going to click from the layers panel. Clicking on selecting on things in the layers panel allows you to select a specific color or line and then you're just focused on that layer. So now I can go contour. I'm actually going to hide all contours so he's all filled in. And let's change them to white because it's going to be a white snowman. Okay, so now we resize the Mickey Mouse head and put it over in here. That looks to be a good size. I'm going to select everything and align it horizontally so that's in the center. Now, I, this is what I do not want to do. I do not want to select everything and hit weld because then it will weld the stick arms, the scarf, the head, and the snowman all together. And that's not what I want. I want to keep those layers separate. So I'm going to click over here in the layers panel and select the Mickey Mouse head. Then I'm going to hold down my shift key on my keyboard and scroll down till I get to the, the snowman. So now you can see I've just selected the snowman and the Mickey Mouse ears. How can I tell that that's the only two things selected? We'll see how this area is a darker gray and all of this is a lighter gray. So the stuff with the darker gray is what's selected. So now if I weld, it joined the snowman with the mouse head. So now I can take this and arrange it and send it to the back. So there's my Mickey Mouse snowman. Super cute and I could just leave them like that. 
but I decided I wanted to add more. So let's let's start with this part. Okay, so all of the stuff back here that's the shadow behind Mickey, I don't want any of that. So I'm gonna get rid of it by deleting and deleting. Now, if I turn off the hat because I'm not gonna need that, let's get rid of this. Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. Luckily, I can just uncheck that. Okay. So now, if I just take this whole thing and slice the black from the white. Oh, I didn't even need to slice it, actually, because that black is already its own layer. Okay, perfect. So now what I want to do is contour away everything except for Mickey's face. So I'm turning off everything. And I'm going to go hide all contours and then turn his eyes, nose, and mouth back on. There. I want the tongue cut out of there too. So let's contour and turn the tongue back on. Perfect. So now I can bring this over here and it's kind of tiny, so I'm going to size it up. Okay, last but not least, let's do the buttons. I don't want the carrot nose at all, so I'm going to just delete that. Then I'm going to take these two images and slice so that I can get down to one that's well, it's just the buttons and those stick arms, but now I can use contour and turn off the stick arms. So you can see I'm using a lot of different functions to really customize this and kind of make it my own. I'm going to change that to black. And I can make those bigger or smaller or however I want them. And I would probably arrange those and move them backwards so they're behind the scarf. Or I can click on the scarf and arrange it and move it to the front. There. And that is how I would make a Mickey Mouse snowman. And actually, now that I look at it, his face, is kind of tilted. So it could angle it and straighten it out a little more. Oh, I like that better. So now if I want to resize this, I would select the whole thing and group it. So now I can resize it to fit on my project. So I hope that helped to show you how you can be creative with things you find in the design space and alter them to make them your own by finding multiple different images that I liked parts of, then using contour, weld, and slice, I was able to create my own Mickey Mouse snowman. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, Sub subscribe to my channel, and let me know how you would use this in your own projects and crafts. Thanks!